Nix ice cream part de. I don't know how to say two in Swedish, but if I did, that's what I'd be saying right now. I reviewed Nick's ice cream a little while back. When I get a pint of ice cream, think Ben and Jerry's, Hagen dazs You want all those mix-ins in it. So when you get a pretty plain pint when there's supposed to be stuff in it, it's kind of disappointing. So that was my major criticism. Other than that, Nick's ice cream is by far the best light ice cream I've had. If you think of any of those protein ice creams, Halo Top Enlightened, I don't like any of them. They're all rock hard. They don't taste like ice cream. It's one of those things that you convince yourself it tastes fine, but it really doesn't. This stuff legitimately tastes really good and I really liked it overall, but they reached out to me because as of 2022, they have these new flavors that they say has way more stuff in them. And they also have these cookie sandwiches that I cannot wait to get into. I will do my best to pronounce these the way they're supposed to be pronounced, which is not right. I can't do accents, I can't do impressions, I have one voice and you're hearing it, I can't do anything else. We have straw bar cheesecake, we have campfire smorgs, Swedish apple pie with a little two dots over the A, so I don't actually know how that changes things. I'm gonna assume that's just apple pie though. Rocky Fjord, Fjord, Road, I don't know how that's road. Fjord, Fjord, who knows? Swedish munchies, it's always nice when one of them is just in plain English for simple people like me. Rasbar swirl, which is very light because my wife got into this one yesterday. Considering she ate half of this pint already, I'm guessing it's probably pretty good. And hazelnut creme, hazelnut creme. Okay, since this one is half gone, we'll start with the Rasbar Swirl. Nutritionally, they're all gonna differ slightly, but they're gonna range from, this one seems like it's on the low end. So this is 260 calories. This other one here, the Rocky Road one, Rocky Fjord is 370 calories. So you're looking around 300 to 400 for an entire pint. And then 14 grams of fat, you got 66 carbs. Net carbs here, it shows eight grams net carbs per pint, so I don't have to do the math. And then you got 10 grams of protein. It's just a healthier alternative, a light ice cream. It's not trying to be super high in protein, but for 260 calories, I ain't complaining. So like I said, this one is half gone, or half full, I suppose, but if you have eaten half of it, it's half gone already. But there you go, there's raspberry. So you got little pieces in there. Wowee, wowee. The texture of this ice cream is absolutely unreal. Flavor wise, I don't love this one. I didn't think I would love it because I don't love raspberry, but that raspberry flavor is actually pretty subtle. It's mostly just vanilla ice cream and those pieces you see are raspberry. So it's not too over the top. Preferred for me since I don't love raspberry, but that's mostly just vanilla ice cream. Decent amount of mix-ins, but nothing uh, that I think is a crazy improvement over the other ones. So let's get into some other ones. I, I love the little things on the top. I assume that, ja, pop the top. That was probably right. Probably also offensive the way I say it. I don't mean to be offensive. I love Sweden. I don't know anything about Sweden. Ooh, that one smells nice and strawberry. So here's strawberry cheesecake. But you got little pieces, it looks like little graham cracker crust pieces and strawberry. And there's your interior. This one's way better than the raspberry because the ice cream flavors so much. So that's strawberry ice cream with pieces of basically crust. So graham cracker crust and little chunks of strawberry. And as a fan of strawberry cheesecake, I was not disappointed. Cram your heart out. Rocky Road, I think, is chocolate, marshmallow, and nuts. The marshmallow is really, really soft. Here's the side of it. To me, that's kind of like s'mores. It's just missing the graham cracker. 
but I guess that might be a stupid thing to say because that's kind of what Rocky Road is if it's chocolate, marshmallow, and then nuts in there. So you definitely get a chew from, I guess it's almonds. I really enjoy that. I really enjoy that a lot. Wow, this is hard to not eat a ton of it. We have Campfire S'mores. So I'm gonna try that one and see if it is similar to the Rocky Road one. Ja at the top. I'll get better at it. I'll work on my Swedish. The s'mores ice cream is a vanilla base. So there you go. You got graham cracker pieces. I saw chocolate on my spoon. It looks like chocolate chips, graham cracker pieces. But if you're after s'mores, this disappoints. It does just kind of taste like vanilla ice cream. Mostly vanilla, some pieces of graham cracker, not a whole lot of chocolate though. If you like the marshmallow chocolate combo, Rocky Road leaps and bounds above that one. Yes, yes, so much yes. Apple pie, baby. See, that's what we want, Nix. This is what we want. So this one's 290 calories, it's still really low. If the worry is that the calories are gonna be too high, so there's not a lot of mix-ins, that's fine, but like the campfire one I just tried, 310 calories. If you added extra stuff and it added in an extra 60, 70 calories, the whole pint for 380 with a whole bunch of marshmallow chocolate pieces in it, that's a sacrifice anybody will be willing to make. Go for it. Throw more stuff into it. Apple pie filling. There's no chance this is bad. Oh, 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 mama. Wow, yep. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. It's vanilla ice cream, but with a little touch of cinnamon. And then you get the apple pie filling in it, and it is an explosion of apple flavor. Wow. Wow. I love it. It says seasonal on it. I'm eating this in March, and I'm pretty sure it's not apple season, so I don't actually know if this is available or when this is available because they send it to me. That should stick around all year. Hey, Nick, keep that one around. That's really good. Hazelnut crap. That's a two-tone ice cream, so I'll have to try these separately. It says hazelnut flavored light ice cream. So. I'm I guess the the other ice cream in here is hazelnut flavored. Based on the um, the picture here with the chocolate, I thought it was gonna be more of a Nutella, but it is really just hazelnut, a subtle hazelnut flavored ice cream with a lot of pieces in it. So if you really like hazelnut or just nuts in general, that's a good one for you. But there's just a little chocolate swirl in it, not not Nutella, just chocolate. So that was, I deceived myself. I thought that was gonna be Nutella and it wasn't. All right, one more. This is great. Lunch every day should be ice cream. This one, we got Swedish munchies. I don't see any chunks. So I'm gonna take one scoop right into the center. We're not disappointed. Brownie cookie dough. So it just settled a little bit, no worries. Yep, that one's exactly what you would think it would be or what you would want it to be, and that's great. Vanilla and chocolate ice cream, brownie and cookie dough, hell yeah, that's good. And it had a lot of pieces in it. So real quickly now, I gotta try an ice cream sandwich. This is gigantic. I don't even know if I'm gonna eat this whole thing. This cookie sandwich is 240 calories, 14 grams of fat, 51 carbs, I'm sure the net carbs, nine net carbs, 16 fiber, and then eight protein. So it's not a protein snack, but we'll see. This looks damn good. This cookie looks really, really good. All right, I just gotta go for it.
That cookie is like cookie dough. Very interesting. It's probably really tough to tell. It's kind of sticky. And when you bite into it, it's not really a cookie consistency. It's cookie dough. It's really, really soft, but damn. So this whole thing for 240 calories is unbelievable. Like that's huge. I took what, like four big bites already and I'm not even halfway through. I don't think I could put this back in the freezer. So I think I just need to take one for the team and eat it. Worst case is that I just consume like 40 grams of fiber. So that's not gonna be great for me later on today. But what are you gonna do? Uh, this is really good. So if you're trying to buy Nick's ice cream and you need recommendations for favorites, if you like strawberry, definitely get strawberry cheesecake. No idea if apple pie is available right now, but you should buy it. Rocky Road, also really good. The other one that was actually really good is the sweetest munchies because of the chunks in it, the brownie and cookie dough pieces. And then obviously the sandwiches are totally worth it. Raspberry swirl was fine, mostly just vanilla though. Hazelnut is not Nutella, it's just a whole lot of hazelnuts in it. So if you actually like nuts, then good on you. And then the s'mores I did find a little bit disappointing. But there you go, I'm gonna eat all of them, don't get me wrong. And in terms of consistency, I'm sure you're able to see, it's so creamy, it's really good. It blows all other light ice cream straight out of the water. It's not close. I guess I'll try to get my hands on the vegan ones because I do really appreciate good dairy-free alternatives. So it's worth trying, it looks like they have a handful of flavors. So I'll see if I can get my hands on those update with the new review. If you've tried Nick's ice cream, let me know if you agree that it is the best light ice cream. And if it's not, let me know what your favorite is. There you go. So much fiber. I'm gonna hate myself later. I know it. It's in the name of content though. It's good. That's really good.